atoms, atomic structure, and the periodic table. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Matter is basically everything in the universe except for energy and forces. Matter can be living, like you, or someone in your family, a cat, dog, horse, bacteria, plant, fungi, or it can be non-living, like a pen or a pencil, scissors, metals, cars, atoms. Because all matter is made up of atoms. Atoms are the smallest building block of matter. Sometimes you hear the word elements and that can be used also with atoms because elements are pure substances of one type of atom that can't be broken down into different substances. There are only 92 naturally occurring elements or atoms on the periodic table. Some examples like iron, zinc, gold, hydrogen, helium. And you saw and heard a lot about those elements in the Elements song, Meet the Elements, at the beginning of this module. Molecules are combinations of atoms to make a new substance. Molecules can be solids, liquids, or gases. Some examples of molecules, and we'll cover and do a lot more activities with mo uh, molecules after we've worked more uh, exclusively with atoms. But some examples are water, H2O, H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide, or NaCl, known as sodium chloride, or table salt, and C6H12O6, or glucose sugar molecules, which are very important for your body, especially in your cells. Now, the way the atom is basically structured is this. Inside the nucleus, you have neutrons and protons, and then orbiting are electrons. Orbiting are electrons in clouds or, or orbitals or shells. Protons have a positive charge. P, proton, positive, and they're found in the nucleus, and they have a size or mass of one atomic unit. Electrons have a negative charge, and they can be found in the cloud or orbiting and shells around the nucleus. So they're on the outside of the atom, and they don't really weigh anything. They are 0 0.0001 atomic mass units, almost nothing. They have very little mass. They have some, but not compared to a proton or a neutron. A neutron is neutral and is in the nucleus, so three ends there. Neutron, neutral, nucleus, and also weighing about the same as a proton with one atomic mass unit. The neutrons and protons are in the nucleus, and the electrons quickly zoom around the nucleus to form a cloud. And most of the atom is empty space. But no matter how small they are, they still have a great amount of energy and are in constant motion. Atoms also are electromagnetic. Stable atoms have a balance of charge, which makes them like a magnet. So protons and electrons are attracted to opposite charges. That's what keeps the atom stable because protons are positively charged and attracted to positively charged, uh, negatively charged electrons. So the positive and the negative are attracted to each other as opposite charges. But they repel like charges. So two protons, you get too many, they start to repel each other's charge. And electrons also will repel like charges. We learn more about atoms in the periodic table. The periodic table organizes information about each element and gives information about the number of protons for each element. So all of these are different types of natural occurring elements or atoms that we find here on Earth.
The atomic number is the number of protons an atom has. So as you can see here in this picture, lithium has a three. That means that it has three protons. Due to the balance of charge, the number of protons will always equal the number of electrons in a stable atom. So for lithium, it has three pro protons, which will mean it will have three electrons to balance out the charge. Here's another example of an atom coming from the periodic table. This is krypton. It has atomic number of 36. That means it has 36 protons and 36 electrons due to balance of charge. Also within the box on the periodic table is a symbol name. And oftentimes you find the number before or below it, which says how much that atom weighs in atomic mass units. So what makes each atom different? Each atom has a different number of protons, neutrons, and electrons from the next atom. And what really is making it unique is that number of protons. So lithium has three, carbon has six, oxygen has eight protons, and then they have a balance of charge with their electrons. So oxygen would have eight electrons, carbon would have six electrons, and then the neutrons also to stable lab out is usually about the same number as well. So each atom that gains a proton will make a new atom, making it unique.